Coffee going. No, we're gonna let that boil just like that for a minute. Out here at Winchester Bay today, got Samantha with us, uh, one of Brandon's dad friends, and uh, fish me unbox for the first time in my life. So Brandon's kind of gonna show me the ropes, and hopefully we can get out here and get some things. Right now we got a incoming tide. It's gonna be high slack about seven o'clock, so the bite should come on this first hour of fishing. Hopefully it does. From what I hear, there's been a lot of fish flushing in and out of here, and they're just not going. Jumping, they're not, they're not lighting. Right. So you can guys, grab some good day. Talks true at a drink all the time. And it's true I'm dead when I am drunk. So it's true. Samantha's running a spin fish. Brandon's running a hair on. Should be good. Got bait. Got fish. What am I running? An anchovy behind a trace says zero. Three sixty. We're marking them. There's the ocean right there, boys. Go, yeah, go, no, go, go 18. It's almost low tide, guys. Managed to fish the entire tide, watching a bunch of fish go, and we have not touched the fish yet. We have put on spin fish, herring, anchovies, uh, basically everything, everything in the kitchen sink, so. Hopefully at the tide flip, usually, usually there's a little snap and we can get something going on the board here. It's definitely like a one fish fishery though. All the fish moves they caught besides like a silver have been honest like. 25 plus. Yeah, honest 25 plus. Absolutely like back is like this thing. Not a ton of them, but the ones that are being caught are. Quality. Giants. Thoughts? I want to fish. I, I get it. That's a big one. I got this rod. Can you come reel one of these rods in? Rod that one. Keep it very tight. Fish on, guys. Woo -hoo -hoo. Keep it tight. Keep reeling on it. Keep reeling on it. He's right here, Brandon. Ooh, I can't reel. Yeah. Samantha. Your, your drag's good, right? Yeah. Okay. How does it feel, Samantha? Good. I haven't caught a fish this big. There he is. Slow, to your right. Slow, hard lift to your right. Pull toward Brandon, toward Brandon. Toward Brandon. Yeah! Sam! <laughs> Sam! That's a beautiful fish. It's not a giant, but that's a beautiful fish. came out. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's a Finally! 
gorgeous. That's a great way to end the day. <laughs> Finally. Yeah, so guys, that one we got in the net. Samantha's first salmon, by the way, and she did awesome. High five. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. <laughs> um, but we almost lost that fish. Not a giant, but good, good fish. For here? Really good amazing. fish. Um, so what we're going to do is flip the head away from you. And you're going to hit him right, right, there, right above there. the eyes. Yep, boom, one more time. There he is. Look at that. She's all yours. There's that 2,000-year-old bocker I was telling you about. How did it feel? That feels great. Finally. First salmon. Woo! How did the fight feel? How did it feel? I know, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I was just like, don't be the That's what they all say. <laughs> <laughs> we could all see that one coming. <laughs> So we're clearing the other rods here and we've got this reel that is like as old as the bonker, 2,000 years. Um, might have missed another one, what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> we're like, well we fish spinners all day today. We fish, spin fish all day today, nothing's going. So we, Brandon's like, you know what, I'm just gonna run herring and sure as shit. All right, folks, that's gonna conclude it for the day, but we're gonna throw this fish on ice and make a long run back to the dock and Go get some pizza and do it again tomorrow. Just stay tuned today too. It's super fun. It's be exciting. But for rockfish. But for rockfish. Rock we might salmonfish in the evening. No, we will. But but we're also gonna, rockfish. Yeah, we're gonna go rockfish in the morning. So we're that. <clears throat> Actually, out of a different different marina. But look at this fish. Tall sided, probably a hen. Samantha's first. And grab it. Throw it on the okay. ice. Yeah, throw it on ice. <clears throat> Here, open the bag and grab it by its tail like that and grab it and then when you pull it up you can lift the bottom up with your other hand Watch out. squish my bait <clears throat> yep good to go oh, energy Here we go, folks. Good morning. Out of Coos, day two. Yesterday we got a king uh, doing the Umpqua uh, Winchester Bay deal. It took about 12, 13 hours to get that king, man. And it was a nice 15, 16 pounder. Today we're doing some rock fishing. Um, first thing. So we're, we're just going to be running shrimp flies, basically, with some lead on the bottom. Get that thing down there. Um, fish some reefs out here, out of Coos. And hopefully if we get a rock fish quick, then guess what we're gonna go salmon fishing this afternoon possibly out in the salt maybe some ocean coho maybe some king fishing in the evening in the umqua so stick around guys should be fun subscribe if you haven't done so already check out that steelhead gear baby use code odds 15 gets you 15 percent off anything you purchase on their website let's go get some fish that's the boat we're gonna out fish today boys and girls It didn't, it worked yesterday, we got a bigger fish. <laughs> All right, everybody, we're playing Musical Rivers, so we got a salmon yesterday, two salmon, and now it's time for some rockfish. So. Yep, you guys see that sign that says rough bar? You see how the lights are not on? <laughs> First time for everything. So, because those lights aren't on, we're crossing the bar. With doing, these, doing some rockfish. these Dumbledorfs up there. Yeah, it's a nice day though. Overcast, flat water. <coughs> Look how fishy this place is, guys. All these sailboats, all these fishing boats, all these like commercial boats. This is cool. Nice ramp too. If you guys are down by Coos Bay, man, come check it out. And we've never salmon fished it, but we drove over the bridge and there was like, shit, I don't know, 150, 200, 100, boats. 200 boats. So apparently there's a some decent fishing. See what happens. That boat floated down all the sun. Hear that, hear that thing struggling? Yeah. Probably gonna tow him back later. <laughs> Oh, 
Targeting some rockfish, everybody. Time to drop it out of the deck. Look at the graph right here. Well, the graph kind of just went away, but we were just marking a bunch right here. So let's drop down and get some rockfish. Hey guys, so I lost my first setup, but we're marking them thick. We just marked a giant school we went over and he yeah, didn't go. Ledge right here. Yeah, I don't know why they're not going. Come on, Brandon. Show me what's up. Come on. Come on. Hey, run right into him. I'm gonna snag him right in the face. Gonna play. He's got a nice one on. Plus, we just got a black bass. It's got a little weight to it, huh? Is that a bass, you think? No. Well, it could be a big one. It feels like a cabbie. Cabbie? Oh. Ling? Maybe. Maybe oh, yeah. Or it's just a big bass and I haven't caught fish today. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he gets close, I gotta set this down, grab a net. You gotta let me know. Yeah, I'm at like 35. Might just be a big bass, actually. Close. There he is. Also, big cab, I think. What is it? Cab. Cab wing. No cab. Damn it. It's pretty wind choppy out here. We've been seeing a lot of four foot wind waves, but we basically drove a little ways, started getting on bit uh, on uh, fish. So stay tuned, guys. I'm bit. Start getting on bit. Start getting. Oh, there it is. Got it. Big. 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 Well, yeah. uh, my arm hurts. <laughs> Ling, get the net. Nice, dude. Hell yeah. Woo! Nice, nice, Ling, bro. Yeah. this Nice, Ling, dude. What do we think? Well, I'll let me look at it. Get you a little photo. Yeah. It's rolly out here. There's no swell jay, but boy, the wind chop is just annoying to say the least. Big old link. That's why I never went to the big leagues, folks. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that, guys. That's what we came here for. Look at those pearlies. Pearly whites. Pearly whites. Get this thing bled. Hell yeah, guys. Get another one. Dropping in on them, huh, Brandon? Come on. just dying. Look at the screen, boys. Yeah, so we're just marking stuff like this. And then we're getting them on our drops. Oh, that's a nice black. I'll take him. I'll take him. I'll take him. Another one. Another black. We'll see what it is. Hopefully it's a, it doesn't seem like it's as big, so we'll see. Oh. Go back. With how we're getting them. I think that's a go back. Might An be a big, big black. Another fish. Black. Brandon might have a nice big black bass. What is it, Dale? Please don't be a cabbie. Are you down there still? A little bit. Are you hooked up? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are you hooked up? Please be a ring. I want a ring. I want a ring hog. These little rods are freaking good for this. They make it nice, huh? You guys wouldn't believe this. It's a 4 to 10 pound rating on these rods. It's ridiculous. Oh, it's double. double. Get them in. Grab them. That, they're both keepers. Oh. <laughs> <Little> keepers. <laughs> nice, dude. We'll have to check our limit here soon. Yeah, we'll check. We're almost at our limit. We're, we might be link fishing now. So what he's looking at is what we've been trying to find in the first spot we were at this morning, and it just wasn't happening. We had to make a move, and now we're dropping down, getting doubles, catching fish, and 
It's nice. We need two more rock bass and we got a limit. Oop, just, just got a bite. Literally just got a bite. So. <clears throat> oh, there he is. There he is. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Peeling. Nice one again? Yeah. Peeling. That's, that's what we're talking about. That's. Ooh. That might be a ling. Trust your electronics. Everybody. Might. That new Garmin 10 inch, man. Ooh, that. Look at him. Might be a double or a ling. The last one we thought was a ling or a big cabbie, and it was just a, it was a twofer. Let's see what we got here. Don't want to reel them up too fast. Yeah, we're kind of right on that barrel on the line, or right that 90 foot. 80 oh, double. Foot. Nice ones. A ling, a double with a ling. No way, hang on. So we got that double on a lean, guys. We're not gonna keep this one. Don't think it's a keeper. Probably about 18. Yeah. They gotta be either 22 or 24, depending on where you're at. Yep. So check the regs, but the we, one we got. Hey, we made a waypoint on that. If it's a keeper black bass, what we need. Yeah. Dang. Sorry guys, I set the camera down. I got bit while filming. Nice one. Oh, it's a double. It's a double. Double black. I'm gonna pick the nicest one. Oh! oh God, those are huge. Oh my God. That's why I thought that was a ling. <laughs> Check it out, guys. That's a lemon a rockfish. That's pretty awesome. Um, the day started weird when I wasn't filming 99% of the morning. <laughs> no, we did. Actually, you can just watch a 30 minute slow mo video. Yeah, slow mo video. <laughs> I filmed everything like slow motion. It's pretty cool, you know. We'll actually get some B-roll out of that. But I doubled on lings. I doubled on, or not, I doubled on a ling and a bass. I doubled on bass and the biggest bass of the day. Brandon doubled on bass, got two nice ones, caught a big ling. The problem is we don't want to keep catching and releasing bass. a bunch of these bass to get a ling. Um, well, we're on 100 we, feet of water we, too, so we're, yeah. they're not doing too well by the time they make it up. By the time they make it up, they're not doing too well. But I don't have a descender, so I think we're going to do the responsible thing here. Keep our black bass limit. We'll take catch a giant chinook. Take our ling. Count our, count our wins. Even though the bite is amazing right now, we're really getting on them. And I think we're going to go catch some chinook, guys. So stick around. We might go clean up the bass first. We might might hang out maybe eat a little lunch and then go fish the evening for some kings um but yeah that's awesome we we, we did really good out here man really good well just kind of hanging out up here boys and girls <clears throat> bar was so flat we're just kind of idling through. Bar was so flat. Just enjoying it, kind of what we're doing. Um, sounds like Brandon's dad dropped some pots for us, so we might collect some crab here later on. And we we had a good time out there, man. It, we wish we could stay out there longer and do some more bottom fishing, but we only got two of us on the boat. And we, we were starting to get into them real thick, real good. Marking big pots, hundreds of rockfish. It was cool. Um, yeah, so we'll be at the dock here soon. Then we're gonna motor back to the Umpqua and pull the pots down there. And maybe maybe kingfish this afternoon. So anything? It does look like a rainbow, doesn't it? No, it's just been an awesome day, man. Just pay attention to your weather, man. Pay attention. We had pretty crappy ocean this morning, but we were watching everything, watching it all week, and it was supposed to die down, and we stuck it out, and sure enough, it died down. I mean, be be safe and be careful, but. Pay attention to your, your forecast because a lot of times there's a salmon right there. Something. What was that? Fish. Anyways, it was a great time, man. It was amazing. Beautiful out here.